in seventh grade, my dad took me to see Kiss, which got me interested in music. And then I went to see Alice Cooper with a friend of mine, which got me more interested in music, and I decided to take guitar lessons from my neighbor, Randy Rhodes. And uh, after he left to go play with Ozzy, I met Nikki Six, who was working at a liquor store here in Burbank. And he gave me tickets to go see his band that he was in. It was called London. I went to see it. I wasn't a big fan, but either was he. And he told me he was putting together a new band. I said, well, I'd like to see it when, when it comes out. And he goes, no problem. Two weeks later, he gives me tickets. I go see his new band, Motley Crue. And I go backstage to tell him, I think you're great. You're the next Kiss. And then I turn to the guitar player, Mick Mars, and he was not happy. And I'm like, you were great. I think you're a great guitar player. He goes, no, I don't want to be the next Kiss. They suck. I'm like, how about Alice Cooper? He goes, that's better. That's much better. And Nikki's like, no, Kiss is better. Make, so they're doing that. The manager is noticing how enthusiastic I am about the whole band. So after I got their autographs and talking with them, the manager came over to me and said, I'd like to get your information so you could, you know, be my connection in Southern California and uh, work for me in promotions. I said, sure. So I gave him my name and number and address, and he would send me down records and buttons and flyers and posters and I'd hand them out in all the local schools and that's how I got to uh, you know work for Motley Crue and get backstage and talk to them. So later that year 1981 I was at a show at the Whiskey I remember very clearly. Me and my friend went to the show and we noticed that Nikki Six had a star of David on the back of his base. And we're like, he's Jewish? And we thought, that's, that's weird, but I guess that's pretty cool. He's putting it on there. You know. So after the show, me and my friend went back. We were 16 years old. I went back first, so, you know, we were really close with Mick by then. I said, Mick, very good show. Why does Nikki have a star of David on the back of his base? And he starts laughing. I'm like, so I go, okay. I go, Nikki, I notice you have a star of David on the back of your base. Why? Are you Jewish? He goes, no, 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 no. This is a reverse pentagram. Uh, it's satanic. I'm like, you're kidding me. He goes, no, let me, let me tell you about it. And that was my introduction into Satan. And he started telling me about some rituals he was performing. And I thought, this is all a bunch of, you know, fantasy. So he said he had performing a satanic ritual. He had a pick on his coffee table. His girlfriend was in the room, Lita. And he made the pick, or somebody made the pick, shoot off the table and stick into the ceiling. I'm like, right. So he told me what he did. I went home a couple nights later, did the same thing, and it did the same thing happen. Yes, the pig flew up off my table and stuck into the ceiling. It's in the ceiling to this day. And that really was my introduction into satanic rituals. And that scared me. And I, I backed off, but it stuck with me. So I started wearing a homemade pentagram necklace. And uh, the art teacher that helped me make it, she said, is that a Star of David? I said, no, it's a reverse pentagram. She goes, what is that? And the whole thing happened all over again, just like me and Nikki. So I had to tell that story a dozen times, but that was my introduction into the, me getting into that type of uh, 
music and image, which uh, turned out not to be a good thing.